Hello Good morning. There. Good morning. Hello there. My name is... Oh, I slammed my leg. Good morning. Howdy. My name is Jack. And my name is Finn. Recently, while traveling through Sri Lanka, we experienced the most shocking and rewarding two days of our lives. We wrapped all up into a little film and we would very much like to share it with you guys. Right about now. Here it is. Here you go. Just got the last word in there. Enjoy it. Just, uh, you guys have fun. There you go. Okay, give it a like. It's playing now. Leave a comment. <laughs> on the 17th of December, we set off on a trip to Sri Lanka. We were heading away for the Christmas holidays with our family, but whilst we were there, we were keen to visit a charity we'd heard about called the Rainbow Centre. Zone E 62K. Here. Set up by a British woman called Alison, the Rainbow Centre is a school that provides education and support for children living in extreme poverty. After a brief chat on the phone, a Rooney who runs the centre invited us to come and spend Christmas Day and Boxing Day with the kids. So on Christmas morning, a Rooney arrived in a van and we set off. She explained that we were going to meet the families at home before visiting the centre in order to understand the problems they faced with drugs, prostitution and violence. When we arrived, it became evident how remote these homes were. Having to cross a stream and a live railway track, we made our way into the village. The people that live here work jobs that pay way below minimum wage, often having to work abroad, meaning that they can't or aren't able to send their kids to school. This is an ongoing circle that is incredibly hard to break. We met this young family who showed us around the home that they had built. The way in which they lived was so simple, lacking necessities that we often take for granted. With no money to go to school and little money to put food in their mouth, it seemed like the next generation had such limited opportunities. When we got back to our hotel that evening, it's fair to say that we were feeling pretty shell-shocked about what we'd seen that day. I don't think I'd ever seen Finn so emotionally affected by an experience. I think what really affected us at the end of that day was the fact that that was their Christmas day and it was such a stark difference to how we would usually spend ours. I have to be honest and say that night we were close to calling a Rooney and cancelling the next day because we genuinely didn't think that it could get any better. A lot of the children we'd met that day seemed to be in an incredibly desperate situation with little or no way out. So early the next morning, we hopped in a tuk-tuk for a short ride to the Rainbow Centre. I don't think anything could have prepared us for the stark contrast that we were about to experience. <laughs> Every classroom was full of happy, smiling kids that were being taught skills that would help them later in life. This centre is run by three full-time volunteers who give up their time to ensure that these kids get a better future. Simple things like providing breakfast or a shower make such a big difference to these kids' lives. We had the chance to meet some of the older kids who were finishing their time here and now had the opportunity to go on to higher education. As a way of saying goodbye, some of the older girls shared with us a traditional Sri Lankan dance. Thank you very much for giving your time to watch the film. Uh, we're going to be donating all the money that this film makes to the Rainbow Centre. There is a Just Giving page set up where you can get involved and help the centre, so if you want to find that, there is a link in the description box below. And we'll leave you with a bunch of photos that we took on the trip. Bye.